Hi guys, Karen here. Um, and these are the photos I'm uh, doing a layout of today. These are from my birthday crop that was organised for me by my friends from my scrapbooking club that I go to every week. Um, and they booked a hall and we all met there and they decorated it with balloons and, and banners and it was really fun. Um, so I thought this, this paper by Eric Langrath that came in one of my hip kits um, would, would be the perfect colour scheme to go to back this these photos. Um, and also this piece of paper from um, Chamel's Little by Little collection with all the feathers on. I thought the colours really went well with, with um, all the, with, particularly with that photograph, um, which I've decided to back um, with this bright pink. It's not a colour I use very often, but it worked quite well because there's a bit of bright pink. I had a, a birthday rosette saying birthday girl, which I'm wearing. So that picks that out quite nicely. Um, so I'm just putting that on this. Um, I think I had a, a piece of paper left over which was had been cut into a triangle so it's a bit tricky to to fit this uh, photograph onto it but I've just managed to to squeeze it into that space and just trimming it down and I noticed that when I trimmed it and I looked at it and I was going to do the last side and I realized it looked like a tag so I thought actually I quite like that so I've, I've, left, I've left it as it is um, and I've picked this balloon. It's a chipboard balloon from a chipboard sheet I have from the Maggie Holmes confetti collection. It's the only chipboard sheet or 12 by 12 chipboard sheet that I own. And I'm gradually working my way through it. Um, so that balloon, I just popped it there just for now. And then um, it sort of stuck and stayed, and which I've not really expect with chipboard sometimes. And then I'm using, um, for all the photographs, I've got some Project Life cards that came in the, I think in the, either the July or the August tip kit. Uh, so I thought I'd use those Project Life cards because all the colours just went really well with the photos in the background. Um, and also a layer of tissue between each photo and each uh, card. So some of them have got this uh, teal tissue that came, comes with all the hip kits. Um, and some of them are going to have white tissue. Um, and then backed onto each one, backed onto a, a different Project Life card that coordinates sort of coordinates hopefully with the with the photograph so this one's going to have some white tissue there it is and i'm just sticking that on to to that card so these are all my all my friends that i that i scrap with i think there's one or two that couldn't make it but most of them are there so i, I made sure i had a picture of everybody um and i've now packed it back to each of the photos now and i'm just going to lay them around the page like that it's pretty well going to stay like that now um it's quite straightforward one big photo and then all the little ones around it i thought that worked quite well it's very colorful um but it was a it was a really fun day and, and uh, full of full of fun so i think it reflects that quite well um i've now got this frame it's a chipboard frame from the same sheet and i'm going to try and make a um pocket for for some confetti um, I think it's often sequins that go into these pockets, but I'm using the confetti that they'd left on my table that I've been using on all my layouts, which are all little little shiny 60s. I saw somebody make one of these on YouTube. I'm afraid I can't remember who I saw doing it. It looked really straightforward. Um, I don't think I watched it properly because I really made a bit of a mess of this, but I did get there in the end, but I did have to... Um, the glue wasn't sticking very well, so um, these, piece, these are pieces of packaging that I'm just using to create the pocket. Um, and I had a bit of trouble getting the glue to actually stick the packaging to the, the chipboard frame. I thought it was there and then it kept coming undone. So I cut out quite a lot of the process of this. It took me quite a while to get this pocket made. Um, and um, as I say, I did get in a bit of a pickle with it, but I did get there in the end and I have got it on the layout. Um, and so I thought this uh, Scotch tacky glue stuck everything to everything, but it doesn't seem to stick acetate or plastic to chipboard very well um, so I think in the end I think I used um, one of my tape pens which worked a bit better but um, at the moment I'm just sticking with this with this wet glue it may have been that I didn't give it long enough to dry that's quite possible I'm not that patient when I'm trying to get things done so now I'm picking out some of these uh, this confetti this this was all laid on on my table when I arrived at the uh, at the crop so I thought well so I've kept it all and if you've been watching any of my recent videos, you'll see I've been using them on all my birthday layouts. So I got the pocket made um, and now I, I thought um, it was with being clear at the back, it didn't look right. So I thought I'd back it. First of all, I tried the pink and then I decided white would look better. 
because you couldn't really see um, what was in it when you laid it on on top of the um, on top in in the corner there that I was hoping to put it on. So I thought it needed a backing. So I've just got this piece of white card from my stash and uh, popped popped that on the back of the of the frame, and that did stick. I think it was just the plastic that seemed to have a problem with the uh, with the wet glue, but that stick seems to have stuck okay. Just wiping it down because there's always glue oozing at the outer sides. And there it is, it's all done with all the little 60s. And then I thought it looked a bit, it was a bit boring. It was just a sort of beigey colour and I didn't really like it. So I have I had some of these glittery border strips um, in my stash. So I've used them to go all the way around the frame to give it a little bit of sparkle because it's my birthday. And I thought it, there was a bit of sparkle needed with all that confetti. Um, and then um, I decided that the uh, the backing of my photo that looks like a tag, instead of putting um, twine or ribbon, I thought I'd pick out these really old uh, fabric brads that I've had in my stash for years. And I thought I'd pop one of those on there instead because there wasn't really a lot of room where I had the photograph quite near the left hand side. There wasn't really room for um, twine or ribbon or anything like that. So just measuring to make sure I get the, the hole in the middle. And just creating a hole there and I've just picked out this brad which is which is uh, got a, a little flower on it which matches the color of my jacket that I'm wearing so I thought that looked quite pretty and I'm now going to stick a bit of foam on the back of the photograph as I often do to lift it up a bit and also give room for the backing of the brad so that it's it's um, it doesn't uh, so it sits better I'm looking at some of the uh, carousel stickers because I'm still using quite a lot of bits from my August hip kit. Still working with the August and July hip kits. Haven't really moved on yet to the later ones. Um, and just picking out a few bits that I might use as ephemera. So that's where the the little, um, what you call it, the little pocket thingy is going to sit. Um, just on the corner of that photograph there. So I'm going to put a bit of um, foam, to, foam um, to, it's a bit thicker than the uh, funky foam, so it sits above the photograph. Uh, it's just that uh, foam strips, just to sit, so it sticks, sits there on the corner. And yeah, I stuck it down, then as I often do, I realised I hadn't stuck the photo down. The number of times I do this, stick an ephemera, piece of ephemera to my photo, um, or to the layers and then forget I hadn't actually stuck that down yet. So I stuck that in place and sticking all the other photos around the page where I where I'd intended them to go. There we are. One more. Oh yeah, and then I realised that yep, there wasn't where I planned to put that one. I'm gonna swap them over. That one was supposed to go there, that one was at the, meant to be at the top. That's the one with my massive balloon and the flowers they bought me. They really, they really did a great job. They made it such a lovely day for me. Um, as you can see, they bought a cake. There were balloons and a big bunch of flowers. Um, I had cards. Um, it was just great. It was such a good day. I wasn't expecting it. I thought we were just going to have a fun day scrapping, but I hadn't realised. I, you know, I hadn't expected them to go to so much trouble to make it um, make it special for me, and I really appreciated it. It was lovely. Um, so I'm going to do my title. I had to think a bit about what I was going to call it. I didn't really want to call it birthday scrapping or anything just as birthday because I think you know it gets a bit boring just saying birthday this for every for every layout. So I've ended up calling it scrapbooking with friends because that's really what it was, and we really had a fun day. I've just picked out some little tile stickers. So the the, the blue letters are um, from the hip kit exclusive uh, that I had in one of the kits. And then I've just picked out some of these smaller letters from my stash. These are little tile, pink tile stickers that just says with. And then I wanted some more pink letters. So I was, as you can see there, I was going through all my different pink letters, um, letter stickers to see which one worked there because it, they couldn't be too big because there wasn't a lot of space. So these ones, I don't know where they're from. They just they were just sitting in my in my sticker stash. So I thought I'd use those. They're not too big, and they and they but they show up quite nicely there. So I'm sitting on wax paper until I'm happy where they need to go and now they're all stuck down. 
So I'm having another look at the carousel stickers. I really want to use these up. So that one says the best day, because it was. It was one of the best scrapbooking days um, I've had with all my friends. A um, few little, uh, they're like little matte dots um, by Doodlebug. Just a couple I did on there. What else can I find on this sticker sheet? I'm sure there's more. Yeah, a few hearts. Pick out a couple of hearts. I think and and then I decided to use one of the labels for my date and you see there's a few labels still unused at the bottom there so I did this one would have been a lovely one to go on there but I messed it up because I it didn't come out properly and then it so I had to use another one because the first one got smudged and didn't look right so then I had to use another one and popped it on there before I could make another mess of it so it's just popped on the bottom of that photograph and another little sticker. It's, it's actually an ice cream, but I thought it went really well with the balloon that I'm holding. It's very similar colour to the balloons. It looks a bit like the balloon in ice cream form. And a few flowers. As you can see, I'm really determined to use up some of these stickers where they would go. There wasn't a lot of room for embellishment, so I didn't do an awful lot. Just a few little bits here and there. What else am I looking for? Okay, what have I, oh yes, now I had a little sheet of buttons that I had in my stash. I haven't used any of them yet, but there's one that just fitted perfectly. It's, it's bright pink with little white polka dots on, and I put a little twine in the middle there in the in the holes just so that it, to finish it off. And it matches perfectly with the pink paper that backs the, the photograph at the top there. I thought that really went well. It's exactly the same. It's, well, the same colour, and I like that just in that little space there. Now I'm doing my journaling. There wasn't a lot of space, but I just squeezed it in all along the bottom of the layout because I really wanted to tell the story of, of this, that, that you know about the girls and how they'd prepared all this for me and what a lovely surprise it was and all of that and what a nice day we'd had. So even had to go around the corner, but I managed to get it all on just about. And as you can see, I often prepare my, my journaling in a little pad that I have just to see what I want to decide what I want to say and then I can just copy it onto the layout and not make too much mess. Um, I use my label maker. I have a, a label maker, and I just did labels of all the names of the of the ladies that I was scrapbooking with, so that in in years to come, we'll, I'll remember who they all were, just in case I lose me my, lose me memory a bit. So I like to make sure I know who's on the on the layout. So I've got all their names um, on the by the photographs. And then there's just a couple of little stickers. One says "Oh Happy Day." And that one at the top says best friends. So that's that's uh, there's not much more to go on, I don't think. So this was this was a really fun layout. I love all the colours and it was such a good day. I really wanted to record it. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, please subscribe and join me again next time. Bye.